Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a fantastic day. And uh, yeah, today's video is going to be another Pokemon Brick Bronze update video. And we actually have, I think, some confirmed news about the new 8th gym update from the developers and creators and owners of Pokemon Brick Bronze. That's very exciting and uh, yeah, some of those updates, well, a little bit of that information is a possible release estimate. So when we can expect to see the 8th gym. So please stay tuned throughout the whole video guys as we have some pretty interesting information to kind of look at and talk about. Um, and before we get in the video guys, Nathan is downstairs. He is actually probably going to hear me recording. So if he does come upstairs and kind of interrupt, I am very sorry, but you know, what can I do? Um, and also, if you do enjoy this video and found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like at the end of it because you know you guys are awesome you're all amazing so yeah thank you for being awesome amazing people um so anyway let's get into the actual video and look at some of the information that i saw the other day on the official pokemon brick bronze uh, discord server so the first thing that we're actually going to look at is a comment from lando himself as you can see on the screenshot right now uh, there he is right there at the top his name is landork on his uh, on his uh, discord and he says the update will crush you all and make you cry and uh, everyone comments and then he says training won't even begin to get you anywhere now i don't know this to me seems like that the new update is going to be 10 times harder um, than all of the previous updates because you know defeating all of the other gym leaders was very easy in my opinion you know if you had like a in the last gym i think if you had like a was it like a mega charizard or something if you had a charizard it was very easy to beat and uh, that was kind of poopy you know because nobody wants an update where it's easy to kind of complete in just one battle you want to have to battle him a couple of times because you know when you play the original pokemon games it takes you a long time to beat the gym leaders like they're genuinely really hard to beat and that's what makes them so easy like so hard to play and what makes the game last longer so i'm pretty happy to hear about that now i don't know if he's just talking about you know the gym leaders he might be talking about trainers in general because you know most of the people that we will see in the new area which is crescent island is going to be uh, evil people like they're going to be criminals and everything like that so maybe you know because they're criminals they like work out you know they lift do they even lift bro yes they do because they're going to be extremely difficult apparently that's what lando says so you know i'm gonna take it uh, i'm gonna take it as he says you know i don't think that training will even help us in the next update so what i would say is i guess do train but uh, maybe eevee train too if you don't know how to eevee train your pokemon i'm pretty sure another couple of youtubers such as jamie jamie i am murderface have guides on how to actually do that so go and check out their channels and work out how to actually eevee train your pokemon because it is pretty interesting and it is important sometimes um anyway we're gonna move on to another uh, another little thing that lando said earlier today Day. I think it was about two hours ago now, and it should be on screen right about right about now. There you go. Um, so it says there Landork, and he actually screenshotted somebody's comment saying, "Guys, do you think that you will be able to rebattle gym leaders post game?" And then somebody replies to him saying, "I don't see why not." And then he says, "Yeah, because it will be more easier farming money, especially." With look in sense, chat.exe has stopped working, making a little joke there. Um, so basically, yeah, he's asking, will we be able to battle uh, gym leaders again? Because that'd be pretty interesting. And uh, Lando then comes online and he says, that's why the Elite Four is rebattleable. You can grind that over and over, and it's more convenient than hunting down all the gym leaders over and over. It gives better money and experience. So basically what he's saying is the reason why the Elite Four is rebattleable is because uh, you can try and speed run it or whatever, you know, whatever's yeah, good for you. But not only that, you don't have to go to different towns and fly everywhere to rebattle gym leaders. You can just stay in one location where you beat one guy, it moves on to the next guy, it moves on to the next guy, it moves on to the next guy until you actually beat the champion um, over and over again. So that's very interesting. I'm glad that we actually got a confirmation that that is going to be how the game works after we complete the Elite Four. Um, I, I didn't expect it to be any different, to be honest. But still, you know, it is confirmed news that it will just follow like the Pokemon games. We will be able to rebattle the Elite Four, which is really cool, really, really cool. So uh, thank you very much for the confirmation on that, Lando, because uh, I know for a fact I will be playing this game even after you complete the Elite Four and everything like that. 
so very awesome news indeed. And um, I'm actually kind of happy, uh, really quickly, I'm really happy that Lando has actually came online and confirmed a couple of things and talked to the fans and everything because I know for a fact earlier this year, when at the start to this year, he actually said that one of the things that he regretted in 2017 was not talking to the players enough and not giving enough dev updates. So I'm really cool, uh, I'm really happy that he's actually done that, but I would really prefer if he did it on Twitter too, if like, you know, if he does like a weekly or monthly Q&A on his Discord and then he kind of compiles all of his answers and everything and puts it on Twitter too, because I know for a fact a lot of you guys do not have Discord and I know that some of you guys don't even have Twitter either, that's kind of why I do these videos. Um, so I, it would just be awesome if he did a Twitter Q&A or something like that and kind of compile all of his dev updates. Kind of like how Overwatch does it, you know, like every month Overwatch will release a little list of dev updates and everything, what they're going to do differently and everything. I think that's what Roblox YouTube, uh, Roblox developers should start doing now. Uh, it's good practice for when they become like bigger developers on different things. You know, eventually these guys who are great at developing are going to move on to actual games later on, like bigger games independently games if it will so it's good practice you know so I recommend that to you Lando and team yeah it'd be pretty cool if you did that and um, but anyway guys we're now gonna get on to a comment from Tate now I don't know if you guys know who Tate is but he is actually Lando's brother and uh, as he's known in game T Brad M he is a uh, Lando's brother and he is actually the official owner of Pokemon Brick Bronze I think and uh, he actually said this on the discord I literally want you to have the 8th gym as much as you want to have it. And then everyone was like, yes. And then Tate actually replied with, we're working hard on it. And then everyone said yes again. And then he actually went to say, we want it out this weekend. Um, and this weekend is actually going to be, so let's see, when does the weekend begin? It's either the 12th, the 13th, or the 14th. Now, I would take this with a grain of salt because, you know, I, I'm going to say that they've already finished the update and that they're just testing a couple of things with it. It. And, you know, if, if the testing goes wrong, then they have to push back the update. But honestly, guys, I would say on the 12th, the 13th or the 14th, which is a Friday, Saturday or Sunday, definitely don't make any plans just in case this update comes out because... I feel like it might do. I feel like it honestly might come out. And that would be extremely awesome if it did. It'll probably come out uh, very late in the day. Uh, for UK people, it'll probably be in the mornings. Um, but yeah, that's an official statement from, from Tate himself, from T-Brad M, the creator of Pokemon Brick Bronze. We want it out this weekend. Um, so I'm I'm going to say that they're working very hard to actually get it released on the, on the 12th, 13th or 14th. And if you do have any plans for the weekend, I would say get them out of the way very quickly. Either complete them, do them on the weekdays or something, and um, just enjoy a full weekend of playing Pokemon Brick Bronze's 8th Gym Update, guys. Extremely awesome news. I'm so glad that I went on and saw that somebody actually sent me this. Uh, so very much, uh, I, I don't know who sent it to me, but you know what? I'm actually going to go and find a little, I'm going to find out who it is because I really want to credit you and and just to kind of say thank you very much for kind of telling me about it. So uh, where are you, my friend? Where are you? I want to say thank you. Uh, so the name is Lucky Tux. Thank you very much, dude. Um, I've actually seen you before. I know your name. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for actually sending me the screenshot after. That. And also, ZachDP10, uh, you actually sent it to me too, I didn't even know. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for you guys for sending me the update on Twitter. I appreciate it a huge load, and um, I'm just very glad that I went and checked out a couple of the, t the comments on the actual dis on the Discord itself. Um, so anyway guys, to end this today's video, tell me what do you want to go and see in the 8th gym update? What gym do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be like a psychic type or something, a ghost type maybe? I don't know. Tell me what you think and leave a, a comment in the comment section below. And also tell me, do you think it's going to be released by this weekend? Because, you know, these updates, they take a lot of time. And sometimes, you know, they do have bugs where they have to push back the update. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. And, um, yeah, hopefully they don't patch all of the glitches I'm going to find. I'm going to find so many glitches, guys. It's going to be a crazy month. Please make sure to turn on notifications if you haven't already. It's like the little bell icon because I am going to do a heap load of videos, guys. You're going to enjoy them. And I also have an awesome 2018 glitch coming up for you 
from Pokemon Brick Bronze. It's absolutely amazing. It was actually found in 2017, but I found the way how to do it. Everyone kept on doing this one glitch, and they didn't know how they were doing it. And yeah, at the start of this year, I actually found a proper guide on how to do it. And uh, yeah, I really, really can't wait for you guys to see it. It's amazing. Uh, well, anyway, guys, that has pretty much been it from me. I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, as I said, because you guys are awesome. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.